going on everybody welcome to artillery fishing so today i wanted to go over a knot that i personally love to use now it's called the palomar knot this knot is great for anybody who likes to use any type of braided line or fishes any type of lakes that have a lot of vegetation weeds crap growing in them because as soon as you land that fish what are they doing they're moving around they're getting all over the place it's a big oh. and you're getting hung up on all sorts of crazy grass weeds hydrilla whatever the heck might be in the water and you want something that's gonna be able to rip through all that stuff and keep your hook attached so that way that fish doesn't get off and you know leave that poor fish with the hook dangling on its mouth so let's go over the palomar knot with the palomar knot i can't emphasize enough one of the best for braided lines as i said before i do not tie anything else on my braided lines that i'm throwing in a very grassy area then tying it on with a palomar knot so with the palomar knot real big key so you take your line right here all right, hopefully y'all can see that. All right, there you go, take your line. And then from there, I just like to put my finger around it just like that. And then pull it down till I get a little bit of slack in the line. And I got a pretty decent chunk. All right, from there, take this. I like to give it a little lick. Make it nice and straight, because typically I'm not using big giant hooks like this all the time. So hopefully y'all can see that. I'm not using big giant hooks like that all the time. I'm usually using smaller stuff, but wanted this in here for the video purposes. So like I said, gave a little lick. I'm gonna come through here and pierce. All right, once you get through, I'm gonna pull to pretty much uh, a little bit over the size of the hook. All right, so just a little bit over the size of the hook. From there, I'm gonna go ahead, give her a little twist, pull through like I'm doing just like a regular knot. And then, I'm gonna bring the, the hook straight up and through that first original loop that we made. From there, make sure it don't get too tangled up. Moisten up a little bit. And this is the part where you gotta make sure that knot don't get crazy. Pull tight, take your tag line. I give that another pull. And Pull tight again, and bam, there you are. You got yourself a wonderful, beautiful, focus up there, focus up there, crazy. Palomar knot. Hopefully this was an educational video for you. Uh, I'll keep posting that picture up so that way you can see it. Just go ahead and pause that picture if you need help with it. But that's pretty much the basics, the gist, the essence. Oh, and don't forget to cut your tagline off. All right, hope this was informative for you. That's my version of the Palomar knot. I know everybody's got their different quirks and different ways of doing it. That's just the way I do it. Works best for me. Hopefully this helps y'all. Leave any comments below if you got any better suggestions on what might work best for braided line because gosh darn it, I don't know everything. All right, y'all have a good one. Artillery fishing, out.